Hey folks, well, I've had a hard day's work today. Uh, I got busy and got this Plymouth moved around the house and into position um, so I can get some work done on it and hopefully get it running here pretty soon. I'll give you a little story about this car. Um, I've had this car about three years now, close to it and it was something I won off eBay and it was a slant six drum brake car had a bad engine in it um, got it cheap of course but uh, I had a some spare parts I bought a duster so like that one but it was just a you know a base basic shell and had a bunch of parts with it but it had a uh, good spool type K member, disc brake K member and everything and all the parts to go with it and uh, I also had a good 318 engine and a couple of transmissions laying around so I said what the heck this car is in good shape for its age so I'll uh, transfer it all into it so that's what I did I spent about three months pulling the OK member and the old engine transmission everything stripped the whole thing out from under it and replaced it uh, it's got all put together put new suspension new front end um, all that on it put the disc brakes on it so anyway I did that and that was in 2008 and since then it sat back there I just totally lost interest in it um, of course, didn't want to get rid of it, didn't want to sell it, but I thought, well, you know, I like this old car and I want to, I want to hang on to it, even though it's a four-door or a more-door, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's not many, many of them around anymore. So, I'll give you a little tour of this thing. I've been kind of walking around it as I've been talking, but uh, this car is actually in much better shape than this one is. This duster. Um, of course, this pedestrian is much more handsome and attractive, but as you can see, it's got some cancer in it, and it's in the trunk also. And this car, except for a little bit of surface rust, doesn't have any. Now, that's not to say it doesn't have rust, but it ain't like that one at all. And also, see the well you can't really see it I guess but this one's got a pretty pretty rough interior and this car aside from just uh, being kind of dirty and where I've stored some stuff in it uh, it's pretty good it's gonna need the carpet uh, and the front seat cover but the back seat cover is good, front and bottom, top and bottom, excuse me. It's got the, let me show you that. It's got the nice two-tone uh, poster out. Look at that, doesn't even have a rip at all on it back there. And, uh, this dashboard has got, look at that got just one little crack at each end here but that's the factory dashboard in it I mean just a set of carpet and that's front seat cover which they're both available I've already checked this is a pretty common seat cover they design they use these in dusters the one in that car I can't find one at all for it because it uses some sort of color that never went into anything but like a plain Jane duster I guess that kind of a yellow tan or whatever but uh, this one's and this one's in excellent shape and it's all here I got the radio for it it's in the in my storage spot no brakes yet of course I hadn't worked on those yet 
Uh, it's gonna need a headliner. Got the old bow type headliner, which is coming down. But I just like this car, man. When I first saw this thing, I thought, well, I'm not gonna be any junk in this one. I know people that restore dusters and darts and swingers and scamps and stuff like that. They wouldn't. They wouldn't stand in the within 100 foot of one of these. They're just too good to even look at them. But I like them so. The engine compartment's pretty dirty. Um, I painted that engine up and everything. Like I said, a couple years ago, and got most of the way with it, but then just kind of petered out. So um, the engine run pretty good. It runs about as good, about the same shape as that one's in. You know, it's, it's like a lot of these old 318s. It it smokes a little bit when you crank it up, but it just runs good. So I can deal with it. Uh, it's got new shocks on it for the Dover to the electronic ignition. Everything's got a that one's got that damn piece of shit BBD carburetor that I can't get to run right yet. I'm still working on that. I'm going to get back on it. And this one, it's got the Holly 2280 on it. So, but yeah, I swapped, I swapped it all over. Uh, it didn't have power steering. Put a power steering box in it. Uh... Found those manifolds at the junkyard. What it is, this engine was in a truck that I parted out. And it wasn't the original engine. Turned out it's a 73 318 out of a car. And the reason I know it was probably out of a car was because uh, it's got the adapter, the car adapter on it. So, And it didn't have the right manifolds or anything like that on it. The only thing is they changed the intake over to the later style intake on this off the truck and the the heater connections you'll see I got a little joiner in there what it is is uh, this car uses two different size heater hoses like a lot of them do and for whatever reason the intake on the truck uses two of the same type but uh, the whole reason I got this out here and up long line alongside this one is I've still got to finish up uh, putting the drive shaft in and doing the shift linkage and the, the downshift linkage and all that and a little bit more of the wiring and stuff so this car uh, that one will be able to let me just walk over here and do it once I get up on the ramps so so yeah maybe hopefully soon we'll get both of them running and then after that I get to pull the head off that thing and see what kind of shape the engine's in in it. Why it's only got uh, 30 pounds of compression in one of the cylinders. So, so yeah, guys, kind of busy here in Mopar land slash Hyundai land. Uh, lots more to come, hopefully. Stay tuned. Have a good one.